doesn't look like much from here. <laughs> I have to be brutally honest. Welcome to Aurora, the city of nightmares. The crawler did this. The being you fought in the desert caves. It appeared five years ago, bringing darkness and death. The few of us who still live have known nothing but fear since. We never know when it will come. And we cannot hope to defeat the creature and its spawn without an army. Even with someone like you by our side, Ben Finn speaks most highly of you. But you are not the first savior to come here. Please, walk down to our streets. See for yourself. Then we will talk. Go ahead. I've seen enough already. I'll check up on Wolf. Right, so I just go for a bit of exploration, do I? Okay, well... <clears throat> is there a temporary pause it? It's going to take me to a quest. That's the first time I've seen that happen. Right, yes, stand by. I'll if you're not too to. busy, you might have a look in the sanctuary shop. I believe something new has been added. Okay, we're, at we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Maxi has a quest for us, right? Maxi, lead the way. Oh, what's this? Read. I will try to honor you always, Father. I will do as you taught me. I will carry myself with the strength you gave me. And I will try to lead our people as you left them. You stood against the darkness and were an example to us all. Your courage lives on in the hearts of every Auroran. I hope I will not disappoint you, your ever-loving daughter, Kaylin. Oh, no. What's this? I wish to leave a record of my survival in testament to those who did not. Last night, the crawler descended upon Aurora again. We believed ourselves to be ready. We believed we would be safe when it returned. But no one is truly safe anymore. I watched through a window as my neighbors were torn out of their homes by those creatures. That they operate in darkness is a blessing. For I could not see what was done to them. And I hear their screams. And the crawlers laughter. And then they came to my house. The walls trembled, the floor shook. I was certain this was to be my last day. And surely it would have been had dawn not begun to break. We are not ready for its return. We will never be ready. We will never be safe. <coughs> well, it looks right grim around here, doesn't it? Doom and gloom indeed. Come on, you didn't you start barking, Maxine? You started barking. Whoa, 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 where are you going? In this house? No. I know, Maxi, I can hear your barks, but where are you going to take me? You just stood there gawping. Okay, Maxi. I've had enough of you yammering. You are the one who survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. But, as you can see, fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. Memorials. On statues. Doorways, wherever a memory will allow itself to live on. Okay, memories, eh? My wife and my daughter. You were taken from me by that which dwells in darkness. And darkness is all that is left in my life. I am thankful only that you knew little of the horror that has taken over our city since then. Rainer and Balin, you are in my thoughts always. I will be with you again soon. Maxi, you've 
glitched behind a f statue pot. Is there something in this pot, maybe? Maybe I've just told him it's the reason that his, his barking is... No, I don't think so. I just think he's... Uh, I think he's glitched. So he used it. Whoa, there's another one here. I hear its voice still calling me. The crawler and the darkness it brings took my parents, my two brothers and their wives. Yet it never takes me. It delights in taunting me with their memory. It calls me a coward. But no more. I have decided to go into the desert at next dawn. I will slay the crawler or be at one with my family again. It's a small Aurora rug. <coughs> will go nice in one of my mansions, eh? I saw one of them chests in that cave where I didn't realize it was a chest because Maxi wasn't barking at it, but. Oh well. Oh, now you decide to descend upon us, Maxi. Chris is with your presence. Oh, very kind. Right, now where's this quest that you were barking about? Or was it the one that I just got up there from Maven? Let's see if he starts barking near here again. Come on, boy! Toodle pip. Tally ho. There we go. One more here somewhere. There you go. Look there. You are in a better place now, my love. For no place can be as troubled as our city has become. I know you are watching over me. I feel your presence by our bed when I sleep. And I hear your voice in my dreams. Stay with me. Always. Oh, it really is very grim, isn't it? Very grim. What's this? Docks. Surely there can't be uh, <coughs> any notes pinned around here. Oh, past the two million mark. Maybe I will be able to go to get that gold key in my sanctuary. In fact, why don't I try it out? Welcome to the sanctuary. Welcome to the sanctuary. Thank you so much. Fancy a bit of counting, do you? Ooh, look! Look how high my pile is! Jasper, there's a chest here. Can I open this chest? Yes. No, I can't. It's probably just full of gold. Ugh. Oh, not quite high enough for silver key yet. Maybe three million was uh, will be required. Oh, oh, look. Look how high I am, Jasper. On my pile of money. Isn't it marvellous? Oh, it's such have a you sight. Some financial concerns? No. I have no concern, Jasper. Not a single iota. Anyway, it's not, it's not nice for me to be gloating about my, my richness when people's lives are at risky and they're dying and whatnot. Okay. Let's go back to that lady and see what she has to say. Let's check up on Walter. I mean, god damn it. We've been here messing about and gloating about our money and Walter's lying almost on death's door. Am I totally heartless? There she is. Now you know what we have suffered. But as I said before, Where's you are going? not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan, the King of Albion. What? Seems your big brother has been here? keeping secrets. He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? Until about four years ago. He too faced the crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived thanks to our care. He left with a promise that he would return with an army and save us from the crawler. Uh. We never saw him again. That King sounds Logan about right. Did not cause this, but he did nothing to stop it. Now I ask that you do what he would not. Ben Finn has told us of your quest, of your revolution. Yes. There are not many warriors left among us. But we have ships, and we are willing to fight beside you. Oh. Not because your brother wronged us. 
nor because we thirst for revenge, but because we want protection. We require aid if we are to survive. That is the promise you must make. Help us to rebuild Aurora and allow it to become a true part of your kingdom. Not a colony, not a thing to be used, but a place with a voice in your court. Will you make this promise? Listen, lady. I will promise. You get Walter back on his feet and I will come back here and rid this place of that horrish fiend that did this. I promise. I promise. Then let us go to war. I hereby promise to rebuild Aurora and protect its people. Signed, with a squiggle. Hey, you're right with Oh, road to Ruli! Oh, off we go! Pierce, your skin does not quite have a right ring to it, does it? Pierce, your skin. You brain. have survived a terrible ordeal, but you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your battle. Oh, this is the best time for you I've been waiting for. gather your allies. And take Bowerstone Castle. Oh, this sounds good. This sounds good. Spend guild seals or exit through the portal. Open. What's the final guild seal? Oh, there's one more chest. Is that the final chest? Magic level 55. Blade spell! Give it to me! Oh, yes. Lovely. I'll take a bit of blades. Conjure magical swords which seek out and impale enemies. Oh, that is good. That is good. Okay, and we have 204 guild seals left to spend. So we might as well spend it on things that we didn't spend it on the first time round. So how about... Uh, rage level 4. Get my gun level up. Okay, and what about... Whoop! Here we are. What about... Sword level 4? Don't have enough guild seals. Oh dear. That's, that combines the level 3 and level 4, which is why it's 140. I could get just level 3. 460. We'll do that. Nothing else to spend it on, other than these stupid profession qu uh, chests. Melee level 3. That'll do us. Apparently there's ten more chests. I don't see ten chests here. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven. I see seven chests. Where's the other three? Anyway, let us not worry about such trivial matters. Let's just press on and take the castle. Oh, there's some more chests behind here! Three more, the final three! Look! I can see it! There! It's level, must be level five. Sword level five, level five range, and level five spells. Oh, yes. Okay, no need to panic! That's the final three right there. How is he? Is he gonna make it? I do not know. The darkness is deep within him. Few ever wake. But he's improving. I mean, you're doing your thing and he's getting better, right? I do not wish to give you false hope. Perhaps it would be better if we allowed him to rest. Don't worry, he's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. He's gotta pull through. <coughs> oh, oh, Walter! <coughs> Walter? Oh, balls to you all. You're not burying me just yet. Thank God! See? I told ya! Nice yes. work! Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. <laughs> I'm sorry I left you. <laughs> you did all you could. And don't think I don't know it. I told you you'd make me proud. Oh. Don't make me blush. <sighs> now we can end the, the part. The promise you made to Kaylin is now on the wall with the other. Join me in the next part, where the true force of the revolution will be felt. And look at my sword, look at it! Look at the sword, it's changed, look at the bladey wavy type of thing, I don't know what it is. Let's go see.
Let's go see what has been improved about my sword. Oh, I have blades as well. Blady, blady, bladies. Blade spell. Where is it? There. Combine it with vortex. Vortex blades. Yes, that sounds like fun. Blade vortex death. Yes, I like it. No, no. Hammers are slower to swing than swords, but Ooh. they do accomplish quite a bit. Sharon, more. my trusty sword. How have you altered yourself? Oh no, I don't want to equip hero hammer. No, oh, no. Oh, what have I done? I've made a boob. Made a big boob. Right, go back inside. Go back to my trusty Sharon. Equip and see how it has changed. The handling of your weapon has responded to his use of shock spell. Your aggressive attitude to other people is mirrored in your weapon's evil design. Ho oh, ho, evil design. Yes, is that an evil design? Could fool me. Right, yes! Join me in the next part. This party is dragging out. See you soon.